Broadcasting from Slough. Ooh, yeah. Streaming around the world. This is Mark Denham on Atom Radio. Atom Radio. Playing the music you want to hear. The podcast. Atom Radio. Hello and welcome to Super Saturday. That's if you're listening to this podcast on the day it comes out, Saturday 4th of July. And if you're listening in the UK, the day that you can go and have a pint and the day you can go and get your barnet done. There you are. Happy days. Uh, Welcome to episode 94 of the best bits of Drive Time. This is Mark Denham from Drive Time on Atom Radio. And you can listen, of course, live Monday to Friday Between 3 and 7 UK time coming up over the next few minutes, the best bits of this week's podcast, including Millennial MasterChefs, or not, How Is It That Breakfast Is Changing, Aging Yourself By Your Vocabulary, A Toilet Dilemma, and of course we talk about what happens today, plus Nostalgic TV. All that and more coming up for you on the best bits of Atom Radio's Drive Time podcast, Make sure you listen, make sure you enjoy, and don't forget at the end, you can subscribe. Atomradio.co.uk If you are a millennial, you probably feel quite hard done by, don't you? Like, people are always having a go at millennial. Well, a survey has been done showing that millennials throw out the equivalent of 633 meals per year because they don't know how to reheat food. Researchers found the uh, amount of food millennials confess to throwing away adds up to more than 1,700 pounds. Some of the dishes in the total include 34 plates of bolognese, 25 chicken tikka masalas, 23 plates of bangers and mash, 53 plates of fish and chips, and more. How can you seriously not know how to reheat food? I mean, like bolognese, tikka masala, so easy to reheat. How can you not know? Denim on Atom Radio. Atom Radio. Online around the world, atomradio.co.uk, on TuneIn, on iTunes Radio, and on your smart speaker, playing the music you want to hear. I posted last night on Facebook, Real Friends Challenge, name something I don't like. And so many people have got stuff that I don't like. Skimmed milk, uh, cheese in a cheeseburger, uh, dance intervals, Christmas songs. So many people know me so well. And I've discovered that there are many, many things like now that you see it in black and white written in front of you, there are so many things I genuinely don't like. Mark Denham, Denham. Hello, I hope you're very well as we kick off Tuesday's drive time. I have to say, yesterday I was in a shop. Now, here in the UK, we still have the two metre distance uh, markings all over the floor especially when you're queuing. So there I was, stood on my two-meter marking when a man comes and stands right up behind me with a trolley. And he hasn't got his trolley pointing a long way. He's got a trolley pointing sideways. So there's no way that there's two meters between us. So I've said to him, I said, excuse me, I said, do you mind stepping back on your marker? And I'm kind of glad that I did because this guy is an oldish guy, right? Probably in his 60s, maybe 70s has a face covering on, which he takes off, right? It's not covering his nose, okay? So firstly, sneezes into his hand and wipes on his trousers. Lovely. Then he takes it off his mouth, (coughs) starts coughing everywhere. I was thinking, I am so glad I asked you to move back. And, you know, like that, that happened last night after this show. How crazy is that? There's a health pandemic going on, man. Get a grip. Mark Denham on Atom Radio. 1325. A lady has bought a rug. Nothing unusual in that rug. But she's posted a picture of this on social media. Quite a nice looking front room. You know, she's got a telly there on the TV stand, uh, leather sofa and that. She's got a biscuit coloured throw over the back of the sofa. And she's got this rug on the floor with the caption, Love my new rug. Everybody on social media are posting that they think her rug looks like a Greg steak bait. And I have to say, with the picture right in front of me now, I can't disagree. Mark Denham, Denham. 
Hello, it is Mark with you. On a Wednesday afternoon, we've reached the middle of the week. It's 3.25. What do you eat for breakfast? Traditional breakfast items such as black pudding, uh, boiled eggs and some cereals are now becoming less and less popular, according to a new study. A host of classic items which could die out within a generation. 57% of young Brits have never even heard of Kedgury. Uh, I'm not young. I am British. What is Kedgury? 50% have never even eaten black pudding. I've eaten it once and wouldn't again. Uh, 55% of the nation's under 35-year-olds are moving away from traditional breakfast in favour of more modern choices. Tell you where I have a problem with this, all right? My my idea of breakfast would be a fry-up. Bacon, sausage, tin tomato and that. Love that. Not very healthy, though. Not so good for the cholesterol level. Or I would have a couple of bowls of Frosties. Not so good for the diabetes with the sugar. That's my problem with breakfast. But now I'm thinking, what on earth is a Kedgury? Martin Denham on Atom Radio. Atom Radio. I posted something on Facebook and I was just sat here thinking about it and it makes me kind of feel old because it was about music. Now, depending on your age, you'll get exactly what I'm saying here or not. But most music nowadays is either on MP3 format, maybe FLAC, uh, the the lossless format, or perhaps you just stream it from wherever. Or indeed, you listen to it on Atom Radio. That would be a good idea. But I was talking the other day about music to someone, and I said, it's it's just, you know, people don't make good charity records anymore. And then I just realized, just sat here now, records. I know, like, if you are a music aficionado, you may still have a record collection. And me being a DJ, I still have tons and tons of vinyl. It's all digitized now, but I still have the original on vinyl. And I was just thinking, though, like, you know, nobody really makes records now, do they? Most of the stuff is all digital. It's either on CD, even that's dying out, or it's on MP3, or it's streamed. And that made me feel kind of old, talking about people making good records. Mark Denham on Atom Radio. You're a bloke, by the way. I know, like, hairdressers and barbers can reopen on Saturday, 4th of July. But if you are a bloke, there is absolutely no excuse for having messy hair. Shops have been open for ages now where you could have gone and bought clippers. Mark Denham on Atom Radio. Atom Radio. You know, if you're someone that, like, does, say, shifts and that, and you've moved to working from home, do you have to disturb your whole family to work from home overnight? Like, if you do, I don't know, call centre work or something, and you've been moved to work from home, does that mean the whole family has to become nocturnal so you can work? Would hope not. Mark Denham, Denham. Psychologists have taken to explaining why it is that people are littering more now that lockdown is lifted. The other thing that's happening a lot more since lockdown is lifted is people can go out now to like parks and beaches and everything, but a lot of toilets remain closed. Well, even like if the toilets are closed, people do still have to go. If you've driven, let's say, from Slough to Bournemouth, you're not going to be able to spend the whole day there without having a wee. And you are not going to be sitting on the beach thinking... I'm going to head home now. I'm going to need a wee in two hours' time. By the time I get home, that'll never work, will it? Mark Denham on Atom Radio. Shout out Bernie Eccleston. The man is 89 years old. And yesterday, he became a dad again. Wow, he's doing all right for 89, eh? His 44-year-old wife gave birth to a baby boy who they have called Ace. Ace is 65 years younger than his oldest sibling. Deborah, who is Bernie Eccleston's first child. Imagine that, eh? Like the age gap between brother and sister, 65 years. So his older sister is already a pensioner. Oh, dear. Friday's drive time online around the world. How are you this Friday? Hope you're all right. Big, 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 big weekend. Big weekend. You can go to the pub tomorrow, get drunk. Uh, just, I mean, if your pub is one of these ones that's, well, they're all 24-hour licensed, aren't they? You could possibly pitch up at a minute past midnight if they're open. 
Hello? I want a pint. I want a pint. What about hairdressers? I know that some people have been like desperately clambering to get haircut appointments this weekend as well. Hairdressers could probably, if it was feasible, they could probably work from, say, midnight tonight, midnight 01 tonight, uh, all through until 11.59 on Sunday night. Fully booked up. Can you imagine? Like everybody this week, I tell you what, Instagram is going to explode at the weekend, isn't it? Of people posing with their pints in the pub and people posing fresh trim. Denim on Atom Radio. Atom Radio. Friday's drive time playing around the world. I did mention if you are a customer of McDonald's, okay, McDonald's shut during the lockdown. They're open again now and you can get drive through. Uh, okay, as of today, you can get drive through, but it is a limited menu. Even worse than that, though, I mean, this is like terrible news. McDonald's Monopoly is cancelled. It's it's cancelled. It's taken place every spring for the last 15 years. However, as with many other of the fun parts of 2020, it's now confirmed as cancelled. It was due to begin two days after lockdown on the 25th of March. And now it's been decided that even when the restaurants reopen, McDonald's Monopoly will not happen. Do not collect your free fries for passing go. Mark Denham on Atom Radio. Alicia Keys, an underdog on the big drive home on atomradio.co.uk. Uh, we're online around the world. It's a quarter to five in the UK. And if you live in the UK, you may remember a TV show which was shown on BBC One starred uh, Dame Patricia Routledge and Clive Swift, who is sadly no longer with us. Keeping up appearances, it was. And the reason I'm mentioning that is because that was underdog. There's a bit in there where Hyacinth, who is a lady who basically likes to be posh. She likes to pretend that she's posh. And there is a scene. uh, I like dogs, where she's trying to fit in with somebody else who calls them dogs, as in dogs. Uh, I like dogs. I'm never happier than when I'm frolicking with dogs. And I happened to put that on the other day on YouTube. And my little four-year-old now keeps saying, Daddy, I like dogs. Well, we don't even have a dog. Atomradio.co.uk. I do like dogs. I just don't have a dog. I do have a cat, but I can't see how you can posh that up. I really don't. Certainly not mine. Mine is a master of social distancing. And he takes it to the extreme. It's not even two meters. Like He's upstairs when I'm downstairs. If I go upstairs, he comes downstairs. That's social distancing at its best. And there are the best bits of this week's drive time. That is episode 94, all wrapped up. We are getting closer to that magic hundred, aren't we? Back on the radio on Tuesday this week. Got a hospital appointment on Monday. So I'll be back on Tuesday. And you can join me Tuesday until Friday, 3 until 7. And during that little period of time, we will actually try and generate some best bits for next week's podcast. On that basis, make sure you subscribe. There are loads of ways that you can subscribe. So uh, thank you so much for checking out the podcast today. Make sure you subscribe. And please do subscribe before you go and get screaming drunk in the uh, pub. On a serious note, do enjoy like pubs being open again. If you're getting your hair cut today, happy haircuts. See you next week for another podcast. Atom Radio. Ooh, yeah. Playing the music you want to hear. Check out the show back on Monday on atomradio.co.uk. And don't forget you can subscribe on iTunes, on Spotify, and on Google as well. Keep yourself well. Atomradio.co.uk.